If you have used WooCommerce, you know that its shipping options are very limited. You only get free shipping and flat rate, which is the same for all of your products. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a free plugin that allows you to create custom shipping rules for the shipping price based on total price and total weight. So let's get started. So here uh, I have a basic WooCommerce website and as you can see I have a bunch of products but I want to have some kind of advanced shipping options for them. For example, I want to be able to just sell these products and set the shipping based on the weight. So some of our products and plans are very heavy so we want to charge higher for them and the others are pretty small and lightweight and we don't want to charge extra money for the shipping also i want to give free shipping for orders above a certain amount so that our users are encouraged to buy more so all of this can be achieved by the free plugin that we are going to install so i just have to bring my admin panel and plugins and add new and simply search for octalize this is the plugin that we are going to install by octalize and there are many plugins for what we are going to do in this tutorial, but I really like this one. As you can see, it's very popular and it just gets regularly updated. And you can see that the last update was three days ago. It works greatly with different kinds of themes. It has great integration with our uh, translating plugins like WP, ML and Polylang. And it's really feature rich. So. You can uh, set up a dynamic cost calculation, customizable options, and free shipping threshold, and anything that you want for your pricing. So this is a plugin that we are going to use in this tutorial. And now we have the plugin activated. Now in the setting, and then shipping, uh, of course, we do get this uh, flexible shipping info, which is information for your plugin. And then in the shipping uh, zones, we get the actual features. But of course, we have to enable a shipping zone because we do not currently have a shipping zone. So let's just click on Add Shipping Zone. We have our zone name. So let's just give it the name of USA. So it's for USA. And then I have to select my zone region. So let's just search for United States. Fine. And here we have to add the shipping method. So I click on it. So these are the free options that are offered by WooCommerce. We have free shipping, flat rate, and local pickup. But now we can click on this flexible shipping, which is coming from this plugin. So I'm just going to select it and click on continue. Now this is done for all of our products shipping to USA. And now I can just click on edit to edit the options. And here we have the method title. So when your users are buying from this shipping method, they see this title, you can just change it. If you're using a company uh, like UPS, you can just enter it here, anything can be there. Then we have the description, you can have the description of your shipping method. And then you can uh, choose the tax status, whether your product is taxable or not. And whether the tax is included in the shipping cost or is separate from it. Then we have free shipping. So by default, it's minimum order value. So you can just choose a minimum order and any order above that will get free shipping, but you also get more features in the pro version. But basically this minimum order is what you most likely wanna choose. So you can just set it. You can have the amount here. So let's just set it to $200. Great. Now we will see how it works. But first, let's just set the shipping because we haven't specified any shipping value. So we have here the cost calculation. And then we have the calculation method, which is sum, meaning that it will consider the sum of weights or prices based on what you will specify later. And also it's default by package value. You can set it to cart value. And you can also set the visibility only for your logged in users. This is just fine. 
Now here is the important part. This is uh, where you can set your conditions or your table as you wish. So here, as you can see, we have uh, always equal and by default it's just zero. So meaning you, you are offering free shipping. Of course, I can just change it, for example, to $5. Now it's just going to be always equal to $5 unless the free shipping threshold is activated. So this is what you get. So let's just save changes and bring my store and bring a product. And as you can see, I already have two items in my cart. So let's view my cart. Now, as you can see, uh, it's adding a shipping here. Now, what if I increase the quantity? And now, as you can see, we are getting free shipping. So if I just go below that, you can see the subtotal and total are equal, meaning that the shipping is free is also indicated here, free shipping. But if I just reduce my amount, you can see that we are not getting free shipping. Now, also a nice feature is that you can show how much uh, is left to achieve the threshold and get free shipping. So here, if I click on the display, the notice when the amount for the amount left for the free shipping, you get this message here. Now, of course, you can customize it and this is a placeholder for the amount. So I can just save changes. And now when I update my cart, we get this message. You only need $61 more to get free shipping. That's nice. But when I just achieve the threshold, it just goes away and I'm granted free shipping. So nice. So this is the free shipping. But also, you can have dynamic prices here. So that's really cool. So let's just turn off this free shipping for now. And here we can set dynamic pricing so, or price groups. So we can, for example, set the price based on weight. Now this is kilogram, this is based on the configuration of your WooCommerce and it just changes dynamic. And now the weight and now we can just enter. So for example, we want to, for the weight zero up to five kilogram have uh, five dollar but maybe if it just goes above five kilogram we can just add another so let's just start from five to ten now i have to change it so that this does not overlap so make sure your weights or prices are not overlapping and you don't have any gaps so i can just set it to 499 that's just fine because we are not selling less than one cent of course and this is just okay and then we want it to be a maybe six dollar and then add another rule so if it's just above 10 kilogram so again i have to set it to 9.99 and then may maybe up to 100 kilogram there it's just going to be 10 and then um we can just set it to but then one problem like this it's just going to be 20. And let's just again fix this so that we are not overlapping. Like this. And now I can just save changes. And uh, if I refresh now, I have to make sure that I have assigned a base to this product. So let's just see what we have in the products and all products. I can just bring this, let's say, money plant. And we have the price and in the shipping, yes, we don't have the weight. So let's just say it's one click. Okay, so now I can just save changes. Let's just empty my car so that I only add that money plant there. So store and plants. And this is our money plant. So I add it to cart. Now, because this is only one kilogram, we are getting a $5 shipping, that's fine. But if I just go above 10 kilogram, 
the shipping is just going to change into 10 because that's what we have specified there. So above 10 is just 10 kilogram is $10. But for example, if I just set it to six, we should get six here. So if I just set it to seven or six and update the car, the shipping is $6. So that's fine. And that's really great. So you can have it like this. They also do have custom ready-made scenarios that they can import. So if I just, let's just remove all of them. And also I should mention that you can add based on price. So you can just set it based on price. But now I'm just going to talk about ready-made solutions. So we have weight-based shipping and price-based shipping. These are the two scenarios. So you can just click on import. For example, we, you, we saw this weight-based shipping. Let's just see price-based shipping. So if I click on use scenario, we have it based on the price. And now I can just save changes. And of course, this time around, it's just going to be based on the price. So from zero to up to 100, it's just going to be $20. So in this case, if I Let's just change the quantity and update the cart. Now it's $15 because this is above $100. So it's just 15. And you can see that it's just very easy to use this plugin and all of these tools available to you. This is the basic features that you can get. But if you want to add more advanced uh, shipping rules, then you can just purchase a premium version of it and it just allows you to achieve all that and you can just simply see the see it in the settings so if i bring woocommerce and settings and shipping and here flexible shipping info you can then see the features in the pro version see their website and upgrade to the pro version so this is the end of this tutorial. Now my final thought is really great on this plugin. I think it's a really cool plugin and it's really feature rich and easy to use and easy to set up. Now in this tutorial, we only covered the free version, which only give you access to shipping price based on the weight of your products or the total cart price but in the pro version you get much more options for example you can have the shipping price based on the products or based on the time of the day or based on the categories of products or tags or based on dimensions for example length width or height or the volume or max dimension so you get much more options you can even have pricing based on different user roles. So if you are integrating a kind of system that gives different prices to different subscriptions for users, and then you are assigning different user roles, you can use that. So really anything that you want can be achieved with the premium version and it's really powerful. And that's it everyone. Thanks for watching. If you liked this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel for more WordPress content. And like always, you can reach our team from the link in the description.